my super sandwiches, Rhyme Style here, Joe with Kira Bug, and today we're discussing episode 122 of Dragon Ball Super, and I gotta say, that was beautiful. In fact, it was so beautiful that literally it broke all of the streaming services. Yeah, it took a while for us to get to watch it. Let's see, it is currently 8, 8 o'clock on a dot. Uh, we started about like 26 minutes ago, 24 yeah. minutes ago. So, which was put to like what, around 7.30. Yeah. The episode came out like 5.30ish. Yeah, it took like two hours to watch, but it was so worth it. Okay, where do we even really start? Good. Yeah, so if you guys remember last week, we got the uh, the ending of the Analyzer stuff, that stupid giant robot from Universe 3? Something. Universe yeah, 3, three, that one. And uh, now we're down to the finale. We got Universe 11 and Universe 7. Who's going to win? Well, actually, Woo. I don't even want to ask you guys who's going to win because we know it's going to go in that direction. But basically, Universe 7 somehow sur survives in the end because we know they're there at the end of the season. Somehow. Somehow. Now, uh... Let's break it down into the different fights that we saw. Uh, the first one being Dispo versus Frieza, which is kind of surprised me, uh, which we'll get to in a second. The second one being Goku uh, and Vegeta versus Jiren, which is the main uh, event. And then the other one being Andrew 17 and Gohan versus Topo. Let's talk about the least hype one. Uh, in the fact, one. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys want to kind of like rank the fights, feel free to do that in the comment section below. And while you're at it, go ahead and thumbs up the video because episode 122 was so dope. Topo and Gohan was, was kind of disappointing. In fact, like, I don't even. What was that one scene? Yeah, I mean, great that I'm sure we're gonna get some more, but like yeah. the second Gohan came up, I think both you and I were like, I mean, he's not doing anything. Yeah, he's not doing anything. We see basically uh, both Jiren, oh not Jiren, uh, Seventeen, Seventeen and Gohan jump in against Topo. Gohan's with a Kamehameha and does nothing. That's when Gohan realizes, yep. This is going to be kind of tough. He even mentions that, like, you know, Topo's dangerous. Even Goku had trouble against him. I mean, this is the guy who's supposed to be the next god of destruction of Universe 11. He's, he's got some power. he got some uh, tricks up his sleeves. Mm -hmm. So as far as what Gohan and Seventeen can do together, I mean, granted, they are fighting together at least, which is an advantage. I just don't know. I mean, I don't know. Gohan has to do something at this point. The thing about Gohan is, is like, the last... Since the end of basically Z, since the end of actually, let's say the Cell arc, Gohan has been just declining constantly. And Dragon Ball Super, he especially was declining from, you know, seeing the stuff that he did against Frieza, which is nothing. Uh, and, like, anytime he popped up, he just, this it was a big disappointment. He's just not doing anything. Yeah. He's not, he's not bringing more to the table. Yeah, and even when he did, in the preliminaries, it wasn't that exciting. So it's like, Gohan has a lot, like, to do to redeem himself. And I'm to the point where I'm like, you know what? I don't even care about Gohan anymore. If he does something cool, great, I'm gonna enjoy it. If not, well, it's expected. Unfortunately, me too. Yeah, and that says a lot because you and I. That says a lot. He's my, he's like been my favorite character since I was a little girl. So yeah, we both grew up under Gohan essentially, and seeing yeah. this is like, come, come on, man. It's just over and over and over again, not bringing more to the table. I'm like, well, you know, if he does, great. If he doesn't, whatever. Yeah. Good news is. Seventeen's a badass, and the fact that we got Seventeen and Gohan versus Topo, I'm sure they're setting up some kind of ama amazing finale between those three. So, as far as what you think is going to happen, feel free to predict down below. But like again, until it happens, I just don't really care. Yeah. Frieza and Dispo. That's one I was kind of excited about because I've been wanting to see Frieza do something this entire arc. I still wanted to see him. Do yeah. More. And you see That's Dispo doing the, the little trick, the, uh, bashing around with the after images, and Frieza's all like cocky, like, "Oh, this is not going to work on me." And guess what? It does work on him because. He, uh, he catches him by his tail, which this ball he does is just kind of slam him to the ground. So, what's cool about that is, is they kind of... The, the sucker punch to Frieza is going to awaken him. It's going to awaken mm -hmm. him, like, like, yo, man, okay, you know what? You are powerful. Stop being cocky. Like, yep. take this man out. I'm sure, like, in the next two weeks-ish, I want to say... We're probably gonna see Frieza like really give Dispo the business, cause like, the business. yeah, I mean, granted, you know, he he is cocky against Dispo for a reason. Yeah, Dispo has speed, but guess what? So does Frieza. So when Frieza really gets his hands on Dispo, mm -hmm. it's gonna be so satisfying. He it's let his guard down, but he he can do it. He, he let his guard down to the point where he underestimated Dispo, but yeah. it's still not enough to the point where it's like Dispo did anything to him. I mean, it's Frieza. Yeah. Once this man goes golden, he's gonna make Dispo jump off that stage. Uh, well, probably not literally jump off the stage, but he's gonna send him off that stage. And yep. that's the moment I'm probably waiting for. Flying. entire arc so when that happens great until then it's like wow i'm kind of surprised that they actually kind of made him take that hit there but whatever now the main finale and there's a lot to talk about this one we got goku and vegeta versus jiren uh going back to the beginning of the episode it immediately starts with goku going after jiren he powers up uh he for some reason goes all in like fully transforms Vegeta points out that that was stupid. I, I assume he was just trying to like show off me cocky. We see a quick interaction between Jiren and Goku about basically becoming stronger. And you know, Goku's all about, yeah, I'm to become strong, yada, yada, yada. Jiren's all about like seeking what's beyond strength. I have no idea what it means. Enlightenment? I think he, yeah, I think he means enlightenment because he was talking about purity and everything. And yeah. He's not seeking strength. He's, he's seeking something else. 
through what he's doing, like yep. strength and all that, but that's not what he's seeking in yep. itself. As they're fighting, Vegeta interrupts and he jumps in. And now it becomes a moment of Vegeta versus Jiren, and it does literally nothing. You see this man going all in. Whis points out something interesting. That Vegeta is trying to basically uh, awaken what, what like he, he wants Jiren to be his trigger to what was Goku's trigger, I guess, yeah, essentially yeah. too, because, you know, the spirit bomb becoming a, um, Ultra Instinct. He thinks that by fighting Jiren, that something will happen to where it will trigger him. Now, as they're teaming up back and forth, Vegeta knows of something. He sees through his attacks, and I don't know if this is like him literally in the process of awakening himself, becoming... Ultra Instinct or becoming beyond Super Saiyan Blues is I think what the internet's calling it. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's able to like see through his attacks which like blew Goku away and he gets a hit on him. And then from there, you know, Jiren just knocks him out and then we have the actual debating. Vegeta's all like, you know, like, like he has, he's got his pride to dig into him, dig into his pride to like basically become the next like level, become even stronger and take Jiren down. Jiren points out that like he's too arrogant and like he lacks like the purity as you mentioned earlier. Yeah. And that's his biggest weakness to which Vegeta said this is his actual biggest strength. His pride yeah. is what makes him. He's never going to change, which is what I love about that. I mean, like that speech is beautiful. Okay. I love that about him, but I also feel like ultimately it is his downfall. And it like is. the fact that he's so stubborn about it is even worse. Yeah. It's admirable, but at the same time, it's really, really bad for him. It has been bad for the it past entire series because yes. that always left him getting whooped. Every single time Vegeta jumped in, uh, for example, against Freeze on Planet Namek, he, got, he goes in, he's arrogant, he thinks he's Super Saiyan, he's not, he gets knocked out. We see him going against Cell, gets knocked out. We see him going against Kid Buu, gets knocked out. He always like kind of jumps in and he gets knocked out. Now, uh, he has not changed yet, and it's like, well, is he like not developing, or is this actually developing to the point where something's gonna happen? If he can indeed take that and like do something with it and actually achieve a new strength next week or uh, over the course of the next couple weeks, then great, that's beautiful. You know what? That would be great, but my only problem with his pride is that no matter what, or at least in the past, mm -hmm. okay, from now until all the way in the past, all it does is disappoint him. If you it go does. in, if you go in without that pride, without expectation or mm -hmm. anything, you can't end up disappointed. You're just experiencing a fight, or like Goku does. He just experiences yeah. it. Vegeta, no, he cares about the outcome way more than anything. That's why I think this situation is different. Yeah. I think I think like he's in a situation now where it's like it's not going to be like in the past, and and I, you didn't catch it actually, but in the end of the uh, outro when they show Goku and Ultra Instinct stand next to Vegeta, that was a different form. His pupils were bigger. He was more blue, and it was like a big, thick, white aura mixed with blue. Ooh, uh, and, I need to watch that again. And yeah, and then the next episode of preview, they even say that Vegeta's awakening his ability beyond Super Saiyan I saw blue. that. I, I remember seeing so, that. So, I don't know if they refer to his own version of Ultra Instinct, or if he's going to get his own thing. I prefer him get his own thing, because it's kind of cool that they give him separate things. You know, I, like, liked, I liked when he said, Goku can have his Ultra Instinct. Yes. I was like, yes, move beyond Let me, let me ask you guys, in the comment section below, would you guys want Vegeta to get his own thing, like, let's say, maxed out Super Saiyan Blue, or beyond Super Saiyan Blue, whatever the form is called, or would you guys really want him to get Ultra Instinct? Because if you guys remember, he never got Super Saiyan God in the anime. In the manga, we saw him go with the red hair form, but we never seen that in the anime officially. What would you guys like to prefer? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, uh, the finale episode consisted of Vegeta beating uh, Jiren and taking his attack like he did against Cell. He fired a final flash, everybody was surprised, and it did nothing to him. I mean, for a second, Vegeta thought he actually did something, but it did nothing. Uh, apparently, he tapped into his pride, which was his weakness, and became stronger. So, again, this is what I was saying. Like, I think this time is a little bit different than before because, like, he's kind of learned from his mistakes in the past, and I was like learning about everything around him to like really go into his strength and i think that's why this time it's gonna be slightly different it could be different but you know what i don't want to happen what i hope it is different this time i don't want it to be like some offshoot episode where it's like oh he gets a power up and then still loses yep and then something happens to where like jiren wins and like goku and vegeta yep. can't win and then something ex like an extenuating circumstance that happens and yep. then they all get revived or whatever i don't want that to happen i want the writers to be able to like think of a way for them to defeat yep. jiren i want them to be I, defeated. I want them to work together because even we yes. said that if goku and Vegeta work together they can give beerus trouble so whether or not that happens or what i mean next episode is called like body and soul like combined uh ultimate power something like that i forgot what the actual title was it hinted at Goku and Vegeta kind of bringing in their strengths and weaknesses together to mm -hmm. form a team against Jiren. And hopefully that is going to be the case. But something I noticed, and I don't know if you guys noticed yourself, 
the setup in this episode was exactly the same as it was in 109. And in 110, it was when Goku went well, Ultra Instinct. Basically, mm. it's, uh, you know, Goku was going all in, going through his forms, going through all his strengths, testing out his abilities against uh, Jiren. And then uh, when he failed, he achieved Ultra Instinct next mm. episode. The same thing happened in this episode. It's like Vegeta's going all in, he's kind of adapting, but he still ends up losing. He gives him his strongest attack, which is his final flash, which is, you know, Goku's spirit bomb, basically. And then he still loses. So it's a recipe for breakthrough. It's a recipe for breakthrough. So I I, I don't know if this is going to be what breaks through him uh, to him next week. I think honestly, what's going to happen is, is next week we're going to see uh, Vegeta observe Jiren the entire episode while Goku fights him. They're going to go back and forth. Nothing's going to ex excitingly happen. We'll see a couple scenes between Topo and Gohan in seventeen, and then Dispo and Frieza. But ultimately, I think at the end of the episode, uh, Vegeta is going to achieve what what he was going to achieve. In the next episode preview, because remember we saw we see Goku standing in Kaioken blue, mm -hmm. and the Vegeta standing with like a thick white and bluish aura, which seemed to be what we saw at the end of the outro. So I don't know if he like masters Super Saiyan Blue to the point where it's like uh, perfected Yo. or like Super Saiyan Blue two or whatever it is. He's gonna achieve at the end of the next episode, and then the episode after episode after that words episode after that is probably when we get some actual action between uh, the the three. I think so yeah. too. I, I mean, usually, that's usually how it goes. I, I, what I've noticed from the last couple of, of years of Drama Super, two years now, <laughs> you can't ex you, you can't try to predict it because it's no. always like the, the 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 smallest scenario that you think would happen ends up happening. So it's like, what do you think is gonna happen next week or over the course of the next two weeks? Let us know in the comment section below. But I'm excited. That episode looked beautiful. Execution was great. Animation was oh, great. Man, the art, art was, was great. so good. Yep, yep. So there's a lot left to happen over the course of the next couple weeks as we go into the finale. Final eight minutes of the arc. But with that said, let us know your thoughts down below, everything that was discussed, and uh, let's see what ends up happening. So, anything else? Nope. I'm sure we missed a detail here or two, but again, whatever. We just watched it. Leave us alone. We're just we... talking about it, okay? Yeah, Passionately. So, yeah. So, whatever we whatever we missed, feel free to just discuss down below. Anyways, thumbs up, comment. You know how it works. Uh, we'll see you guys next week, and let's see what happens when part two of Vegeta and Jiren takes place, as well as Goku jumping in as well. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the weekend. It's Makira back in Rhyme Style. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Peace.